you're about to discover the important differences you need to know between a European river cruise and a European barge hotel cruise. I'm Gary Bembridge. This is another of my tips for travelers. I'm just back from a barge cruise through the waterways of France. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about the differences between going on a river cruise in Europe or going on a barge cruise through Europe. The first key difference is around the type of waterways and the range of options available to you. So barge cruises, 95% of barge cruises actually go on man-made canals rather than rivers. So these are canals that were built largely in the 18th century before railways were pretty widespread to move goods around a country. So most of the barge cruises that you look at in Europe will go on canals. Now some of them do go on rivers. So for example, I was on the Crossy Europe Deborah barge on the Yon and the Seine River because the water levels were too low in the canal. So we actually did more of a barge river cruise. But you'll normally find that 95% of the cruises on a barge will be on canals the barges will travel much less distance. So on a river cruise, you could go through four or five countries. You could travel hundreds of miles. A barge is very different. It will only travel around 50 to 70 miles. So for example, we did about 76 miles on our trip over six nights. Barges go much slower. They cover much less ground. Unlike a river cruise where you can go through multiple countries in the space of a week. The range of places you can go to is much more limited than on a river cruise. So river cruise, of course, pretty much every single river of any note in Europe, you'll normally find a river cruise. Barges largely go where there are canals. So you'll find there are much less places you can go to. So you'll find, for example, there's a lot of them in France. You will find them in England, in Scotland, in Ireland. You'll also find some more limited ones in other parts of Europe, like Holland and Belgium. The second key difference between a barge and a river cruise in Europe is the amount of options and choice. On a river cruise, you have a huge amount of cruise lines ranging from very premium to more value. You have a huge amount of rivers you can choose from, and there are loads of permutations of itineraries. However, when it comes to barges, you're going to have much less choice. There's very few operators of barge cruises in Europe. So I went on, for example, Crossy Europe. So there's probably only two or three other real players if you want to go on a barge cruise. So unlike river, there's much less choice. A river cruise offers you a huge option of different lines, lots of different rivers, lots of different itineraries, and multiple countries you can go to. If you choose to go on a barge cruise, you're going to have much less choice of both lines, and countries that you can go to on a barge cruise versus a river. The third and probably one of the biggest differences between a river and a barge cruise in Europe is the pace. A river cruise can be pretty frantic and certainly one of the things I discovered when I started river cruising is it's a much more full-on trip because you get up early, you have breakfast, you go on excursions, you come back, you might cruise a little bit, you'll have another excursion, you'll have dinner, you'll have some entertainment, you'll have a briefing, and it is pretty full-on. A barge, however, slows that down completely. And that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, the barges generally go much slower and they cover much less distance. But importantly, barges do not cruise at night. So they only cruise during the daylight hours. So what normally happens is you'll have half a day of excursions and half a day of cruising, and then you'll be docked somewhere at night. So straight away, the whole pace slows down because half of the day you will spend on the barge just relaxing as you sail through the territory, the land, the landscape that you're going through. And the barges themselves do go much slower for me, the next one is probably the most obvious of all of them, and that's about the size of the ship. A river cruise can hold often between 120 up to 200 guests. Barges are much, much smaller. So for example, the Deborah barge that I was on had a maximum of 22 guests. So it's dramatically smaller. You have six crew on board. So we had the captain, we had sort of like a first mate, which helps the captain. We had sort of a cruise director. We had a waitress. We had a chef and we had a housekeeper. So the crew to passenger ratio is very high on a barge. But the ships are, of course, much, much smaller and you have much less facilities than you would have even on a river cruise, which again is pretty limited. So on the barge, for example, what you have is you normally have the cabins on the lower level. So 10 of the 11 cabins on Deborah were on the lower level. 
on the main level you have a dining room you have a seating area sort of a lounge which has a little bar then out you have an open deck which on Deborah actually had a hot tub many of the barges do have things like a hot tub you also have an upper level now often the upper level is closed when you're cruising along canals the reason for that is that the bridges do tend to be pretty low on many of the canals around Europe so the facilities are much less you're not going to have a choice of dining you're not going to have a fitness center you're not going to have a spa some river cruise boats have swimming pools you're not going to find any of that on a barge not surprisingly because of the nature of the waterways that barges cruise on it's a much smaller vessel the next key difference is linked to that and that's talking about the cabins themselves now on a river cruise many river cruise ships will give you a huge choice you can often get suites you can get balcony cabins and then you can have cabins which only have water views which normally tend to be slightly below the water level so you have a big range of cabins and some of the cabins you know still on river cruise boats are quite small but they're still quite spacious however on a barge your bedroom really is a place to sleep and get ready so the cabins are pretty small so again we'll just take an example of the one we had on Deborah there were two single beds there was lots of storage space very cleverly put in above the bed there was a little seating area sort of a dressing table area and there was a bathroom the bathroom was a shower room so the, but the cabins are pretty small it's not the place that you're really going to want to necessarily spend a lot of time in that's also very important because if you spend half the day cruising the cabins themselves are largely below the water level so it's sort of two-thirds or three-quarters of them are below the water level so when you're actually cruising along they can be relatively noisy in my view so it's not the sort of place you're likely to want to spend a lot of time so certainly one of the key differences you can have cabins that you might want to relax and spend time in on a river cruise but on a barge it's a much more practical sleeping getting ready space the next key difference is around food and drink on river cruises you have incredible food you have big menus sometimes you have choice of dining venues and lots and lots of choice it's very different on a barge cruise the food on a barge cruise is pretty impressive so it's very gourmet like and the meals are big and quite long and really they do go to town so let me give an example of what we had on the cross europe deborah which is pretty typical of other barge cruises that you could go on so breakfast would be the most informal of all the meals and that would be a buffet breakfast so you'd have you know your pastries cereal yogurt fruit that kind of thing and then normally there'd be an egg of the day so you could have scrambled eggs one day omelets but it was a buffet style breakfast lunch was probably the main meal of the day and a lot was made of lunch it would be a four course meal you'd have a starter you'd have a main course then being France you would then have a cheese course and every day two different cheeses were introduced we'd be told the story of the cheeses and have the cheeses and then there'd be a dessert in the evening it would be a three course meal starter main course and dessert an important thing to note is this is a set menu there are not choices and options if you have dietary issues say you're vegetarian vegan you need gluten free whatever it is very importantly when you make the booking that you work with the company you're going with to ensure that they know that you have dietary issues and when you get on board make sure that the chef knows now the chef can be pretty flexible because they do buy a lot of stuff along the way but you're not going to have a big choice of menu on river cruises you'll have choice of starters choice of main courses cho choice of desserts normally that's not the case on a barge cruise food quality though is very high also very importantly on barges is your drink is included food quality very high set menu and all of your drink is included on a barge cruise the next key difference is around fares river cruise and barge fares are largely all-inclusive on river cruise lines it differs a little bit about what and is and isn't included let me talk a little bit about what a barge cruise will normally include so if I take the example again of the cruise I was on transfers to and from Paris were included to the barge so transfers are normally included your accommodation your food and your drink as I've already discussed are all included Wi-Fi is included excursions are included and depending on the cruise line you are gratuities are either included or not included so on cross Europe Deborah gratuities were not included so the only extra expense during that whole week that I was on were the gratuities everything else was included my first barge cruise was a great experience and those differences I found quite intriguing between that and river cruising 
definitely river cruising is fantastic. Definitely barge cruising is fantastic. Hope you found those differences between river and barge cruising helpful and interesting. If you want to find out much more, I have loads of videos about cruising, river cruising and barge cruising. So why don't you watch another one of them right now?